All right, LDBC. Man, 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 Vanessa Baloney. I mean, Vanessa Jones. Damn, she got stopped. I mean, Carissa, you know, whooped this girl's ass. I'm talking about whooped that ass. I'm talking about, boy, she whooped that ass good. But here go the thing, man. I thought that this fight would be a little bit more competitive. Because me, I was one of the people in, in that majority who thought that Carissa's power would not, you know, well, she wouldn't have power heavyweight. I just thought, I figured, oh, well, you know, if she ain't got power at these lower weight classes, why would she have power as a heavyweight? Boy, was I wrong. But I did my pre-fight prediction. I said that I don't feel like Carissa should have overlooked this woman. And I said that the only way that this woman would beat Carissa is by knockout. That's it. That's the only way that this woman could take Carissa out is by knockout. That's just what it is. Um, she wasn't going to outbox Carissa Shields. She wasn't going to, you know, win a bunch of rounds on a judge's scorecard. It just, that's not how she fight. <coughs> Vanessa has knockout power, but unfortunately, she don't really know how to box. So you went in there with a master boxer. See, she was used to going in there and just slugging it out with these other heavyweights that were standing in front of her. But she wasn't used to, you know, a master boxer in Carissa Shields. I mean, I was telling you, I, I said, I think her last opponent won the fight. And I think her last opponent would have put up a better fight. That girl, uh, uh, Abril Varel. I thought that she would have put up a much better fight versus Carissa Shields. Um, I don't know. Vanessa just looked sloppy. I mean, she ain't try to establish a jab. Carissa established a jab. And Vanessa, boy, she was scared of that jab. And Carissa was catching. The first jab that Carissa threw, Vanessa, you know, was already stunned. And it was like she had this look on her face like, you know, damn. Okay, what did my promoters and my manager sign me up for? Like, what the hell? I mean, I'm finna get my ass whooped in here. And she had that look on her face that I'm finna get my ass whooped look on her face. Folks, it was, it was, it was, it was there. <laughs> It was there. And I sat back and I said, man, I said, after that first jab, I said, this fight over. If the girl make it out the first round, damn it, she lucky. And she made it out the first round. I mean, she got her ass whooped, but she, she, she made it out that first round. Uh, got to the second round. Carissa just put them hands on her. She put paws on her, man. Pumped a nice little jab. You know, and then Vanessa, I don't know, she got some courage like the Tin Man. You know, little man got heart now. Little man got, you know, she rushed in and Carissa Shields. Carissa caught Vanessa with a smooth straight right hand and dropped her. Dropped her big ass. And I said, damn. Well, Vanessa in trouble. I said, Vanessa in trouble. It, it, it's just, she ain't getting out of this. She's not making out the round. Then Vanessa got back up, you know, game, you know, congrats to Vanessa for getting up. Every time she got back up, Carissa hit her again and knocked her back down. Carissa knocked this, this heifer down three times. So congrats to Carissa Shields, you know, going up to the heavyweight division, taking another belt. Okay. I know some of y'all not going to like this. Okay. I know y'all not going to like this. Carissa Shields, you know, she running around and she's saying, hey, I'm the GOAT. I'm the GOAT. I'm the greatest of all time. I'm the GOAT. Okay. Uh, listen, I got, I got, you know, belts in three different weight classes and, you know, blah, blah, blah. She going to say all of that. I don't think, okay, and here's, here's my thing. Me personally, I don't think that the competition that she's dealing with, to me, you know, to me, I don't call it a goat. She's a damn good boxer. Damn good boxer. I mean, I don't think anybody can beat Carissa Shields. I'll put it like that, okay? If there was a way that Carissa Shields can fight some of these other, like, really, really good fighters, yeah, like, I want to see her fight Amanda Serrano somehow. They agree at a weight. I want to see her fight a Katie Taylor. Let's let's agree at the weight. I actually wanted her to fight Jessica McCaskill before Jessica McCaskill got her ass whooped. Um, I, I I wanted her to fight, you know, some of these like fights with these people that they they want to smoke with Carissa. You know, I want her to find a way to fight the Alicia Bumgarners. The only thing with Carissa is the weight, you know, and they're gonna have to agree. You know, I wonder how to fight Chris Stoutboard, but Chris Stoutboard talking about 147, and it's just like, you know, Chris got to get off that. I mean, you want to fight Carissa Fighter, but you're going to have to move your ass up, Chris. You're going to have to move your ass up to at least 160. I mean, Carissa can't get down that far. It's just not going to happen. But 
this fight of Vanessa, <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, you know, she just not, wasn't that good. Okay, I mean, she decent. She's an average fighter. She's not like a terrible fighter. But I don't know, y'all. Can y'all call Carissa the GOAT after beating this fighter? I mean, can y'all really call her the GOAT? Nah, I think what needs to be a happen, that what needs to happen, there needs to be a purification in boxing for Carissa. She need to get all these people head on a scalp, okay? Like, she need to scalp these girls and then let's hang them up. And I'm going to tell you who need to be on her list. I call Carissa Shields a quote, okay? If she if she can do this. If somehow she's able to get these people in the ring and get them, you know, at a, at a decent weight. Number one, if she can get Alicia Bumgarner a little ass in there, whoop her ass, okay? Number two, if she can get Katie Taylor, okay? If she can get Katie Taylor back up in there, cool, okay? Chris Cyborg, okay? And I know Chris Cyborg is new to boxing, but Chris Cyborg is winning. I mean, she... She can fight, okay? That'll be a scout to put on your resume. I, I Actually, I think Chris will, you know, she'll get in there and annihilate Chris. However, that's a scout you want on your resume, okay? Amanda Serrano. Definitely Amanda Serrano. Amanda Serrano been talking hell of noise, okay? Michaela Mayer. If Chris can go through that, I'll call it a quote. Because, I, I mean, guys, come on, come on. Her fighting at heavyweight, it's, it's just... Yes, it's good. This is a great thing that she's able to move up and win. I get it. But who is out there at heavyweight in the female division? There's one fighter. There's one heavyweight fighter that I know for a fact would give Carissa a run for her money. But damn it, she's too busy playing football. I hope Destiny Yarborough take Carissa challenge and fight her next at heavyweight. If Carissa fights Destiny Yarbrough, that's going to be the fight of the century. Destiny Yarbrough can fight. She can fight. Straight up got hands. Y'all can look up. You know, Destiny Yarbrough, she can fight. And she's been a heavyweight. And, you know, the opportunities for women's, you know, heavyweight is not there. And I got to give a shout out to Carissa Shields because with her moving to the heavyweight division, you're going to have a lot more women, you know, who are heavyweights come out and fight. And, guys, I'm sorry with the heavyweight women. We're going to start seeing some knockouts. Now, folks, that's what we want. We're going to start seeing knockouts. So, Carissa Shields, man, damn, she's doing a damn thing. I mean, I can't, I have to sit and I have to admire what she's doing for the sport. Now, heavyweight women are going to get a voice. Heavyweight women are going to get a voice. I've always wanted heavyweight women, but I want Carissa Shields somehow to get these scalps. Okay? I'll I tell them to you again. I want Carissa Shields to get Katie Taylor. Somehow get Alicia Bumgarner. Somehow get Michaela Mayer. Okay? Somehow get Chris Cyborg. Okay? I mean, you, you know, somehow get these people in that ring so we can, like, put you in there with the best of the best. Okay? And now we can say you're the GOAT. But beating Vanessa, that don't make you the GOAT.